It's a story that's becoming all too common. A teacher having inappropriate relationships with students. Now, a proposed Senate bill in Indiana aims to tighten restrictions on teacher-student interaction. But not all agree that this legislation is the best way. News 10's Lindsay Yates explains in tonight's Education Watch 10. The school bell rings. <laughs> A familiar sound to most, but in the halls of high school, these are the sounds of the younger generation. Because of, of the need for instant, immediate communication. But what if every email and text between a student and a teacher was being monitored at all times? I myself have even gotten a Snapchat message with a picture of the question. Under newly proposed Senate Bill 266, Every principal in the Hoosier state would be required to keep those electronic communications for up to two years. Being able to save those for two years, one, is, is an enormous burden, I guess. So you need to have some sort of system to be able to do that. And the Vigo County School Corporation agrees. I'm afraid our principals might be overwhelmed by the numbers they would get. You, as the parent, would also receive an electronic copy. Student would report abuse to the guidance counselor, the guidance counselor in these text messages. We really don't want to be sending that to the parent if the parent's an abuser. According to the bill, failure to send a duplicate email could result in a Class A misdemeanor, up to one year prison time and $5,000 in fines. I think sometimes we do too much uh, when the problem only involves a certain number of people. And even though legislation is an option. The Internet is very complex. School officials say it might not be the answer. It could better be handled perhaps by individual school policies regarding when and how you use the Internet. In Terre Haute with photojournalist Cody Murphy, Lindsay Yates, News 10. The bill is in the early stages. It's currently in the Corrections and Criminal Law Committee.